Photo storage isn't the most glamorous part of photography, but it's still incredibly important. I have really let my storage system get out of hand over the last few years. I used to be very organized when I first started. I used to have systems, I used to have labeled hard drives, but now it's just, it's all out the window. It's all over the place. I have various SSDs, hard drives. I have a physical backup that I keep at my parents' house in cases of a fire or lightning. I have physical printed prints that I bury in the garden. And uh, no, I don't, I don't do that. I'm currently shooting a thousand uncompressed raw files every week and I just throw them on a hard drive. I edit a few of them, I export JPEGs and I leave them there and I don't really do any labeling or organization, it's chaos. I've known for a really long time that I probably do need a NAS system, particularly with the amount of photographs that I'm taking, but I've been really intimidated by it. They've looked very complicated. Every time I look into it, I start looking at forums, there's lots of acronyms, lots of stuff about networks and cables, and I get scared. I'm scared of wires. That's what it comes down to. I'm scared of electricity and I'm scared of wires. I'm not very technical and that's what's put me off. However, a couple of months ago, one of my many old hard drives failed. It just wouldn't connect to my computer anymore. I panicked. I managed to recover it. But a few days after that, I got an email from Ugreen, genuinely coincidentally. And they said, how would you like to try our new DXP 4800 plus NAS? We can include some hard drives. And we've got some very interesting tools you can use for organizing your photos. And I was like, um, <laughs> Yes, please. And they also offered to sponsor the video. I mean, you know, six years of shouting into the void on YouTube finally paid off. They sent me over the new NAS. I've set it up. It's been very straightforward. Let's take a look at it. Let's edit some photos off it. And let's look at some of the AI tools for organization, which I genuinely think will be a bit of a game changer for me and hopefully reduce the chaos. So the NAS arrived in the post and I tried to do an unboxing. I've never unboxed anything on camera before. You can probably tell. I had to resist the urge to do what I normally do and just kind of rip everything apart like an excited spaniel. I will say it was beautifully packaged and the NAS itself felt extremely premium. Apple product like I'm not going to be embarrassed having this on my desk. It looks very slick. It makes me look professional. It makes me look like I know what I'm doing, which is, I think, one of the main reasons people get a NAS. The first job I had to do was install the four Western Digital four terabyte red drives. This was the part I was initially kind of scared about. I could see wires, I could see exposed chips and boards and, you know, exposed connectors. But it was genuinely very straightforward. You just had to use one of the trays provided, pop it out of the NAS, rest the hard drive in it, clip it shut, no tools needed, and then slot it back inside the enclosure. So the hard drives were in. I went to find.ugnas.com on my web browser, ran the setup wizard. Again, very surprisingly straightforward. I then jumped onto the operating system, also within the web browser, and created a storage pool with the four hard drives. I opted for RAID 5 because that's what it recommended to do so and it seems like the best balance of security, redundancy, and maximizing the amount of space. And I need as many terabytes as I can possibly get my hands on. So that's what I did. So I've got my NAS set up, the hard drives are in, I've got my storage pool. The drive is actually showing up on my desktop as essentially a hard drive that I can drop files onto. So I'm going to open up Lightroom Classic, which is my editing software of choice. I'm going to import a huge batch of raw files from a recent family holiday to the Isle of Wight. I shot all of these on the Fujifilm GFX 50R, which puts out 117 megabyte raw files. They're absolutely massive. And I'm going to edit the files straight off the NAS. It should be more than fast enough. It should be more than capable. My next step is to export JPEGs of my edited and favorite images. And I'm going to drop these into the Photos app, which is on the Ugreen operating system and see what I can do with the AI tools that this offers and see if that's gonna help my organization. Okay, so I've opened up my favorite, Adobe Lightroom Classic. I know there is a newer version called Lightroom CC, which stands for Creative Cloud. I would love to be able to use the newer version, but that involves storing all of your source files in the cloud. And they do not have a pricing option, 
which makes sense for anybody that has over, I think, a terabyte of photos. Maybe it's been updated, but every time I look into it, it simply doesn't even come close to the amount of storage that I need. And that is why we are here today with a NAS. <laughs> we are gathered here today. So I've opened up, yes, Lightroom Classic. I tend to create about two or three catalogs a year, just so they aren't completely unmanageable. I'm currently in my third catalog of 2025, which I made about three weeks ago, and I already have 1800 raw files in it. So it's already a lot. And I've got a few of my snaps from my recent family holiday. And you can even see just scrolling through this. I mean, they're all loaded. It's amazing. So these are all currently just editing straight off the NAS through the network. Super fast. I can open them zoom there's just no lag and these are uncompressed raw files from my fujifilm gfx 50r so that has a 50 megapixel digital medium format sensor i think 14 bit color it's, it's a lot there's a lot of detail has a lot of dynamic range there's a hell of a lot of information stored in these raw files and i'm just gonna mess around editing them straight off the nas so Let's see, let's apply one of the uh, Fujifilm film simulation profiles. I do like a bit of Astia. Ah, hopefully this isn't too much of a pain in the Astia. <laughs> oh God, right, okay. And you can see, they're just, just rapid. I'm very excited about this. Just being able to Gen generally, editing photos is my least favorite part of photography. I just enjoy the process, man. It's all about the journey. <laughs> For me, the fun part is going out and taking photographs, and I really do not enjoy editing, but anything that can make it easier like this is always very, very welcome. And just scrubbing through, you can see I was really trying to work this scene to do this portrait landscape <laughs> of a beach on the Isle of Wight. But just flicking through them and seeing how quickly I can flick through them. It's awesome. So quick. So I'll go back to the library. Again, no issues scrolling. No issues. It's really encouraging this. I'm hoping that I can just keep just piling stuff into this drive and shooting without having to worry about storage because I've been genuinely very anxious about running out of storage and it's extremely expensive. I've spent thousands on, on <laughs> new hard drives over the years, but already having the enclosure and just knowing you can go out and pick up more of the Western digital drives. I mean, once I've filled these up, I might get some even bigger ones. I can actually expand it all the way up to 136 terabytes, which would see me through my entire life, I think. A uh, nice little beach scene here messing around if you want to know more about how i edit files i do have presets available link in the description i'm not going to give away my secret source in this video oh no uh, let's have a quick look uh what else have we got wow i am genuinely shocked at how quickly i can scroll through these photos let's look at one this was from uh, the eastbourne air show a couple of weeks ago Again, I think I shot this on my X-T5, but it's still a 40 megapixel raw file, uncompressed. Really, really quick. Fantastic. Again, if I want to change to one of the Adobe recipes or the film simulations, super quick. So this is going to be the first part of my workflow, editing directly off the NAS, but... One thing that I have been fairly organized with up until this point is backing up every single JPEG that I've ever exported. And I currently have a SSD with around 10,000 JPEGs, and those are all backed up in the cloud. But what I've done is I've dragged all of these over to the NAS, and I've dropped them into Ugreen's photo app, which has some really cool AI tools for organization, and also some really useful tools for archive diving. So next step is opening up the Ugreen Photos app. My lovely Ugreen desktop, which just sits in my browser. Very simple, very idiot-proof for the likes of me. 
jump over to the Photos app, which I have installed. And this now has every JPEG <laughs> I have ever exported. I believe it's around 10,000 photos. This is essentially every photo that I've ever been relatively happy with enough to export. That doesn't necessarily mean they're good. It just means I've been like, oh yeah, that look, that's okay. I'll export it. And we've just got everything going back years and years. And then we've got these JPEGs from my recent trip to the Isle of Wight. We've got these final ones from the Eastbourne Air Show. It's here in the NAS. I can access these off my phone. I can access these remotely as well. Really, really useful. It then organizes them into albums and also recognizes people in the photos as well, which is an incredible tool. You can see it's got my wife, my son, me, and my friend Alex. I'm not going to show all of these because it's got, you know, friends and family, but it's recognized every single person I've ever taken a photo of, which is really cool. But the best tool is the search. So, say I want to find all my pictures with cats in. I literally just search cats. And here we are. Just an abundance <laughs> of cats. Now, if you're a working photographer and you often license images, maybe you get briefs sent to you, this is going to be such an invaluable tool. I get a lot of licensing briefs sent to me with very specific requests, and I have to do so much archive diving, and this is going to save me hours, days. Y you know, that's just, I mean, you can go so broad with it or so detailed. So if I just search, let's try hands. It's very powerful. I'm very, very impressed with this. <laughs> it works so well. Maybe something more abstract like rain. And it's picking up stuff like this, like water droplets on a pane of glass. Really impressive stuff. And it seems, for the most part, extremely accurate. Uh, you can also search like individual colors. Anything with red in it. And it works really really well we run a monthly assignment for our frame lines community and we often set very specific themes and sometimes people don't have time to go out and take a photo on that theme so they archive dive this could be a very useful tool for example we have set red as a theme before we have set hands i might try another one let's try shadows this is again a, maybe a bit more abstract <laughs> it works so well very impressed with this uh i could just keep just to uh, trees Brilliant. This is also a really useful tool if maybe you're working on a book or a zine or you want to collect ideas or projects. You can then organize your images from this point so you can select the ones you like and add them to a specific album, which you can then access from your phone and share with other people. Let's try one more search. Uh, dogs. I have a lot of pictures of dogs. And you can see here it's actually trying to identify the breeds, which is very impressive. Again, wow. So many pictures of dogs. <laughs> uh, this is going to save me a lot of time. A lot of time. I also need to show off just how quickly you can upload files onto the Ugreen NAS Sync system. Here I've got a 3.6 gigabyte version of this video. I'm uploading it direct into the NAS Sync system and it's uploading in seconds. Compare that to Google Drive, which you can see is quoting just under an hour. So saving myself huge amounts of time. Ugreen also have a super intuitive mobile app which you can use to access your archive on the fly. Really helpful for me if I need to send something to a client when I'm not at my desk. Or maybe I just want to download a file and post it on Instagram to feed the algorithm, to feed the machine. Anyway, massive thank you to Ugreen for sending me out this NAS. If you're thinking about picking one up as well, you can check the link in the description and use the code to get 20% off. Massive thank you for watching along. If you aren't subscribed, give us a subscribe, will you? Go on. Thank you very much. Goodbye.